with a film like Tenet and with most of Nolan's films from Prestige to Inception to Memento, if there's one, he's prob he probably has the record for most fan theories out there to these films. Everybody leaves out thinking one thing or, or another. And I know this hasn't been released everywhere, so there are no spoiler alerts here. But even John David Washington, you mentioned him earlier, was saying, hey, listen, I don't even, I had to re read it two or three times. I even don't even know what to think. Now, he's the lead. He's the, he's the protagonist of the film. And so when you see something like that, like without you, you giving anything away if you look after your screening of it, you walking out what did it leave you thinking or feeling uh yeah so like um just to, just to go back a, a, a second when chris first gave me the, the script to follow and like i said it's got a fractured narrative in it uh, and there are three timelines that run through it and, and i was reading it going okay you know i kind of get it but as an actor i had to pull it apart put it back together in chronological order so that I could understand my character arc and what I was supposed to be doing on any, any particular day. And, and Tenet is several orders of magnitude more complicated than that. So I'm not surprised that, that John David didn't, you know, doesn't, doesn't get it entirely. <laughs> I didn't get it entirely. I bought the script now, uh, book now, so that I can read it again. Uh, and I want to go and see it a few more times. The ride home, me and him left the movies. We were like, so we're very educated. We've seen a lot of films. We've done films. Uh, what was it? what happened? I wanted him to speak first, and then I can speak. So I'm glad you felt kind and, of the same. And way. it was a quiet ride home. <laughs> yeah, and it's and it's and it's, it's a film that I'm gonna you know I'm gonna keep on watching. It's gonna stay with you for years. You're just gonna keep on discovering stuff about it, and and, and reading stuff about it, and thinking about it, and it's uh, you know it's uh, and that's that's kind of the beauty of the films that he makes is that they are the you know, they, they are these enormous, immersive pieces of, of art in which you can just, you know, you can jump in, you can watch it once and go, that was great. Or you can spend hours and hours thinking about it. Um, uh, I'm really going for it. My, my strange take on it is, is that it's kind of a love story without, uh, without trying to reveal too many spoilers. Um, the relationship between Elizabeth Debicki uh, uh, and Kenneth Branagh is very similar to the one between the blondes and the bald guy and following. Uh, mm. And that uh, there's, he has a hold over her and there's that sort of like abusive relationship that's mm. going on. Uh, and, and, and John David Washington as, as the protagonist is, um, you know, goes in and, uh, uh, and uh, has, to, has to break that up. Um, uh, I think that's about all I can say. No, okay. Otherwise, we are going to gonna get into the, the realm of the plot. What, yeah. what happens? That's the trailer.